everyone. My name is David Blackman with Aspen Grove Studios. Thanks for joining me. Today I want to give you a quick overview of a new feature that Elegant Themes has incorporated into their flagship product, Divi. They have incorporated, as of 3.01, a footer credit editor. And what that means is, is on every one of Elegant Themes' themes, you're going to notice that there is a black bar at the bottom that has some text in it and some social media icons. That is the footer bar. Um, most web developers and companies want to brand this to their own uh, website. They want to protect their content. They want to add copyright, trademark, um, links, so on and so forth. A lot of times they'll do the, the years that it is in effect. So if a website is started in 2015, they'll typically go from 2015 to the current year and then expand as each year passes. Well, as of 3.0.1, Elegant Themes has incorporated that ability to edit the footer text. Uh, I'm going to kind of give you a quick overview of where to find how to edit it, where to edit it, and what exactly it can and can't do. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is come to the back end of your Divi website, go on over to the Divi tab, and go to the Theme Customizer. In the Theme Customizer, you're going to notice a footer tab. Go ahead and select it, and you're going to notice a new tab inside the footer tab called Bottom Bar. Go ahead and select that bottom bar, and you can scroll down because you can watch as you edit and do this live. Uh, the functionality of this footer credit editor is going to allow you to change the color of the bar, the color of the text, the size of the text. It's going to allow you to disable it or enable the footer credits, period, and it'll allow you to write text. So, for instance, I want my company name down in my footer and I want to copyright 2016. Okay, Very common thing that companies will put into their um, website footer. So what this one will allow you to do is you'll notice that the, the as I typed it changed. So whatever I add here is going to change, which is fantastic. That's a, that's a great new feature that they've included in the Divi theme. Uh, it will allow you to disable it altogether by simply checking a box. So if you don't want to uh, disable it, and you can select the color of your text, I like white because white shows up good on the background of that black. You can also change the color of your social icons, brighten them up, make them pop, make them stand out, let people find you. Um, you can change the size of your social icons. You can also change the size of your fonts. Go ahead and bold it, underline it, italicize it, or capitalize it you can do all of these features. If you want to change the color of that back end bar, you can do that as well. Simply select one of the colors here. You can set its transparency to where it's zero transparency or not. It's a pretty neat feature. I'm going to hit Save and Publish. Sorry, my bar is kind of gaudy, um, but that's just the way that it goes. If I come over here to the front end of the website, refresh it, come down, you'll notice my bar is red. My company copyright 2016 is there, the size of my social icons, and my text is also changed. That's the new feature. Aspen Grove Studios has had a product on the market now for a little over a year. It's called Aspen Footer Editor. Give you a little history of this little plugin. This plugin was created in the summer of 2015 because we saw a need the ability to edit footer credits. Uh, the way that you had to do this before, you had to go into the footer.php file, modify some PHP code in order to do this. Divi has now made it very simple to edit this inside the theme customizer. Great job, but there may be some functionalities that you want to do beyond just editing the footer editor. I'm going to have a little highlight video that you can watch at the end that kind of goes over some of the highlights. Um, I'm going to go ahead and tell you about some of the features that are different with our plugin versus the feature that's been added into the Divi theme. Okay, so let me go ahead and set this stuff back to default so that you can um, get a good sense of what it is that we will be able to do. And as you can tell, when you're setting it back to default, you just click on it and select default and it'll go back to the standard default stuff that the theme came with. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. 
and you'll notice that, you know, Designed by Elegant Themes, powered by WordPress is back. I'm going to hit default on that as well. I'm going to hit save and publish. And I'm actually going to back out of the theme customizer, go back to the dashboard, come into the plugins, and I'm going to go ahead and activate the Aspen Footer Editor. Come down to the Divi tab, select Aspen Footer Editor. The first thing that you're going to notice is, is that you get to use the WYSIWYG WordPress Editor for the Aspen Footer Editor. Uh, some of the major differences between what Divi has incorporated into its theme and the plugin Aspen Footer Editor is the ability, one of the biggest features is the dynamic short codes. The ability to add the year, month, date, day, time into your footer and it will automatically update every year so that you don't have to keep coming back and editing this feature and adding it. So when 2017 comes around and you have copyright 2016 to 2017, you don't have to come in and re-edit re this. If you use this short code, it will automatically update the year for as long as you have your website. Obviously, some of the other benefits is the ability to add media. You want to put your uh, logo in your footer. You want to put an image in the footer. You want to put a video in the footer. You have the ability to do that. I'm going to go ahead and select the text that I currently have in here. I'm going to make it black so that you can see it. Um, what I currently have in here is copyright 2015. The copyright symbol is here underneath the special character sign and you can simply select it. Um, 2015 to obviously I've put in the current year and that's the short code. It will automatically update every year. I made a fictitious company, Acme Incorporated, and the site was designed by Aspen Grove Studios, LLC. I've done a hyperlink to google.com. Normally you would take that to your website. I go ahead. I've also centered that ability. The Divi footer credit editor will not allow you to center or write a line. So that's another feature that it has. I come over here to the front end of the site. I go ahead and refresh the web page. It's black. The text is black. I apologize. Let me quickly go back here, change that to white, hit Save Changes. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page again, and you'll notice that the text is centered. It's in the bottom. It's white. It's been changed. The year is 2016 because that's the current year. And we also have hyperlinking text in the, in the footer. So those are just a couple of features, benefits, that are different from the uh, functionality that Divi has added into the theme. Uh, please watch this short video. It'll give you some highlights of what the plugin does. Thank you so much and have a great day.